Okay, so this dish here is Italian pork chops. You could also do it with chicken breast, in which case then of course it will be Italian chicken. So what I'm starting off with is four pork chops that I've trimmed most of the visible fat from. And I'm gonna give it a quick squirt of our locale oil and a little bit of black pepper and salt on each one. Meanwhile, I have the pan here heating away just dry. So using the tongs and putting them in away from you, place the chops in to seal on both sides. And then of course, once you've turned them over, we're going to season the other side of them. seconds on each side just to get a slight golden brown colouring to them because you're really just sealing them. Okay, we're not cooking them all the way through because we're going to pop them into the oven for that. Now we're going to place them into a nice deep casserole dish, preferably one with a lid once they've been sealed. Okay. Now in we go, ready to go into the oven, along with our lovely vegetables and sauce. Right. The vegetables we're using in this case are some red onions, but you could use white, courgettes, peppers, mushrooms, and some garlic and some herbs. Now if you want to, you can replace, say, the courgette with aubergine, you could replace it with celery, leek, Whatever vegetable you like. If you don't like one of these, it's no problem, leave it out. If you prefer something else, replace it. So in they go, into the pan, and we're just, again, not cooking them all the way through, we're just giving them a little browning. And also so the flavours of the pork come off the pan and end up in the oven as well. Now if the pan that you're sealing them in, sealing the pork in is a little small, just use half, do half of the vegetables and then add the other half of the vegetables. I'm going to add the mushrooms a little later because I don't have enough space. This is just a quick sealing to start the cooking process. really all it takes, just a little move them around so they begin to start to get brown and steamy. And then in on top of the pork. There you go. Lovely. Another little squirt of our spray oil. And in with the mushrooms and the garlic. Four cloves of garlic is what I have there. 250 grams of mushrooms, which is about a chip. Uh, one medium sized courgette, one large or two small onions, and one of each of the peppers. But like I said, it's absolutely up to you what you decide to add into it. So just as this is beginning to cook down, we're now going to add what's gonna make our nice sauce. So we have some tomatoes. Put in two tins of tomatoes and you can either use fresh basil or dried basil. I'm using dried basil in this case 
about two teaspoons and a squirt of tomato puree, approximately a dessert spoonful to give it a nice depth of flavour and some extra colour. So the sauce of the tomatoes, the juices from the tomatoes will pull all the flavours of pork from the bottom of the pan. So they'll all end up in a nice casserole dish. Okay. Season our sauce up with a bit of salt and some black pepper. And pour the whole lot in on top of our pork and other vegetables. This is a very handy dish. You dirty the pan and a cost casserole dish and that's it. It goes into the oven, leave it for three quarters of an hour to an hour and let it cook away gently at approximately 150 degrees to 180 degrees. And then it is ready. You can serve it on pasta or you can serve it with rice. It's entirely up to yourself. We'll pop the lid on our casserole dish and everything goes straight into the oven. So three quarters of an hour later, this is what will come out of the oven. Plenty of sauce, plenty of vegetables, plenty of taste. And because it's Italian, we're going to serve it with a little bit of pasta. So I have some pasta here already cooked. I'm going to put plenty of the saucy veg on top first. Any leftover sauce you could also use as a soup base the following day. Just liquidize it up. And then pop a pork chop on top of it. And add a little more of the vegetables again. And there we go. Very tasty, very easy. Sprinkle with a little Parmesan cheese and fresh basil. Gorgeous dinner.